If we want to combine collections together in C Sharp and put them side by side, we're able to use something called Zip. But we also have the More Link NuGet package, which has Zip Shortest and Zip Longest. So which one's going to be more performant? Hi, my name is Nick Cosentino, and I'm a Principal Software Engineering Manager at Microsoft. In a previous video, which I'll link up here if you haven't seen it already, I was walking through how we can go implement our own version of zipping collections together, and then we could see that we could call the same link zip method or more links zip shortest and zip longest. All of these things were basically comparable in terms of their functionality, except for zip longest taking the longest of the two collections when combining them. However, we didn't get to dive into the performance benchmark. So in this video, I'm going to walk through some benchmark.net setup as well as the results of comparing these. That sounds interesting. Just a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel and check out that pinned comment for my courses on Dome Train. Let's jump over to Visual Studio and check out these benchmark.net benchmarks. On my screen, I have a class called Zip Benchmarks, and this is just going to be setting up all of our zip benchmarks, as you might have guessed. So I am going to be comparing arrays and enumerables because I think it's important to understand that we might have optimizations under the hood, depending on your collection type. We are going to check the global setup out first, and we can see that I'm just instantiating either uh, two arrays or two enumerables. And I'm just going to be doing it to the collection size. But because we're dealing with two collections or two enumerables, I wanted to make sure that we could play around with having different collection sizes. And that's because when we're doing this, I do want to make sure that we can check out the zip longest versus zip shortest behavior. So there are going to be a little bit of differences in the results because when we do compare zip shortest and zip longest, zip longest just has different functionality, but I do want to have it mixed in so we can see the results alongside the others. Technically, zip shortest and links zip method are doing both a zip shortest implementation. In a naive implementation that I wrote in the previous video, we are also doing a zip shortest implementation. So we just step through two I enumerables at the same time until we hit the end of the first one, whichever one is shortest. Now, I like walking through these benchmarks because I have been known to make mistakes and I do always want to make sure that I'm putting out proper information. So as I step through them, if you notice anything that I have messed up, please let me know. I'm happy to go make a follow up video to correct these. The first one that we're going to be looking at is more link zip shortest. So you can see that I'm calling zip shortest here and we're going to be doing this on an array. So the first set of all of these is going to be dealing with arrays and then more link zip longest. So source array one, source array two, you can see that pattern as we step through all of these. The resulting type that we're going to be making is just a tuple of the first and the second element. So in this case, if I scroll back up, you'll notice that these are of integer type. So the resulting type will be a tuple of two integers. Before we move on, this is just a reminder that I do have courses available on Dome Train if you want to level up in your C-sharp programming. If you head over to Dome Train, you can see that I have a course bundle that has my getting started and deep dive courses on C-sharp. Between the two of these, that's 11 hours of programming in the C-sharp language, taking you from absolutely no programming experience to being able to build basic applications. You'll learn everything about very variables, loops, a bit of async programming, and object-oriented programming as well. Make sure to check it out. Next up, we will have the link zip method. I am going to mark this as the baseline because I think this is what people are going to be most familiar with when they're working in C Sharp. It's just built in. We don't have to have any other NuGet packages and you don't have to go write your own. So in my opinion, this is a good baseline to have, but just calling that out as we go through all of these results. Next up, we're going to see almost the exact same thing, except we are dealing with enumerables. And again, just a reminder, I wanted to have this comparison because we may have other optimizations we could be making behind the scenes if we're dealing with concrete collections. I personally have not looked at any of the source code for any implementation of zip shortest, zip longest, or just links zip method. So I'm interested to see if we'll notice anything just by looking at the results of the benchmarks. And finally, right at the end, I added in some calls, some benchmarks to our manual ones. So the implementation that I made, and this is just going to be called manual zip shortest. You'll notice that I'm doing it again for enumerable and array, and then I'm passing in the enumerables here and the arrays here. A quick reminder that if I jump into this just by pressing F12 to go to the definition, this is my naive implementation of zipping the shortest. So I'm just going to ask for both enumerators 
and then step through with this while loop and just yield return whatever my callback method was. If we jump back to the benchmarks, this callback method is just making a tuple of both of the integers. So same type of setup across all of these. It's either going to be an enumerable or an array. And then again, I am going to be changing up the collection sizes. So with that said, I think it's time to go run these benchmarks. And of course, you can thank my video editor. No one's going to make you sit here and wait for all of these to finish. And now I have a screen full of awesome colors, and we're going to be looking at the output of the benchmarks. So the first one that we're going to look at is working with small collections of equal sizes. And again, just a reminder, when we're dealing with zip longest, it will have different behavior than zip shortest once the collection sizes are uneven. Just an important call out to make. So I don't want you to focus on the absolute values of these numbers. We do need to take them with a grain of salt as we go through. So when we're dealing with equal size collections, these two implementations, shortest and longest, should have the same behavior. So that means we should be able to scan this column or the ratio column for sort of the top performing ones. If we check out the mean column, if we check out the baseline, so array link zip, it has a 109, almost 110 nanoseconds of execution time. If we scroll through the link, uh, zip with enumerable is technically faster than the array implementation. So if I highlight that here, and this is the array implementation, technically the enumerable one was faster than the array. Uh, it's also interesting to note that my two at the bottom here, these are my implementations, the manual zip shortest, these were actually on par, which is kind of funny because I didn't put any real optimizations in, <laughs> just kind of wrote it for the previous video to have an example of how it works. So kind of neat that these came out to be pretty performant, but we can see that the more link implementations, if I back up a little bit, the more link implementations. So here and here, these ones are actually slower comparatively uh, to the others. In some cases, almost twice as long. So that's a little bit shocking. That's not really uh, great to see. And it's a little bit more obvious when we go to look at the ratio column, right? So a ratio of one for our baseline is the array link zip. And if we scroll through, yeah, there's a couple that are faster than the baseline right here. So that's the link zip method on enumerable and my manual zip method on enumerable. But the other ones uh, overall for more link are not as performant here. If we check out the allocation column and in particular the ratio, uh, again, for more link, it's not looking so great. That's almost twice as much allocated. We aren't talking about not many bytes, but still that's not really great. Um, so kind of interesting to, to see that uh, big of a difference that early on here. Let's go down to the next set. Um, these ones are gonna be kind of interesting because you'll notice that there's some ridiculously big outliers and that's going to be the zip longest. So I just wanted to show you that uh, when we go through all of these, it's not gonna make uh, a big deal to start looking at these numbers here that really stand out because it's not fair to compare them here. I really wanted to compare them when the collections were the same. I think it's important to compare the link zip method and more link zip shortest though, when we do have uneven counts. And in fact, even with my manual zipping one. So to check out here, this is the link implementation with an I enumerable, and this is the same one with a array. I am pretty impressed that the enumerable implementation's faster uh, as we go through this. I mean, it's still, kind of dealing with the base collection size of 10, but uh, I just figured that when we have an array and a, like a materialized collection, that there'd probably be some optimization under the hood to check for that and then do something faster with it. So looks like not, but again, I haven't compared uh, or checked out the source code. Overall, this is very comparable to what we saw, obviously, with the outlier being the longest. So I think it's okay to move on from here and start looking at some larger collection sizes. Let's start with this one down here actually because these collection sizes are the same. It makes the numbers a little bit easier to start looking through. If we check out the more link comparisons here, these ones are very comparable with each other, right? So it doesn't matter if you're using zip longest or zip shortest, almost the exact same in terms of runtime. And that's because their behavior in this case is almost the exact same, right? It's supposed to result in really just having a collection size is equal to the count of both of these. 
So then we look at the array link zip. So here, and this is for the I enumerable. So both of these are the built-in ones. They are significantly faster, basically half the time than using more link. So that's interesting. But also, I'm kind of impressed that my manual implementation <laughs> is really keeping up. Uh, I Again, I just didn't think that would be the case because I didn't do any explicit optimizations. In fact, if we jump all the way over to the allocation ratio column, my implementation has a ratio of one, which is the same as the uh, array link zip. So that's pretty neat. We do start to notice again that if we're checking out the built in methods, so our baseline is array link with zip. If we check out the enumerable version of that, we do have about 10% extra overhead in terms of allocations. That's interesting, important to note, but again, we're dealing with pretty small numbers here. I don't think it's really the end of the world, but if that's a consideration of yours, then you can see the difference here. Let's go a little bit lower, make some bigger jumps down to this area down here. So these are going to be with 1 million elements. Again, the pattern that we're starting to notice here is that all of the more link operations are generally about twice as slow. Like I have said earlier, I've not checked out the source code, but I still find it pretty uh, surprising that it's about twice as slow. It's just not what I would expect. And then if we check out array link zip, so this here, and if we check out the enumerable version, both of these are quite fast. And again, my implementation is keeping up with both of them. So pretty impressive in both cases, their implementation, like the built-in one, is uh, continuously like faster than mine, but just by a little bit. So again, pretty neat. And we see the same type of pattern over in the far right column for allocation ratio. Now, I do want to point out as well, because it might not be obvious, again, for folks that aren't very familiar with iterators versus materializing collections, this is a collection of a million items, right? We have two collections that have a million items. I'm not allocating them inside of the benchmark, that's done outside, but you'll notice that the number of bytes allocated, that's not for having a full materialized resulting collection. Really important note, this is one of the reason why iterators are pretty powerful, is that you don't need to materialize a full collection to start using it. Otherwise, if we did need to do that, Having a million items, like by definition, we would need over a million bytes to be able to hold the results. It's something to think about if you're dealing with, you know, applications where you're really focused on memory, being able to stream this kind of stuff can be pretty powerful. So let's jump down to the final set here, down at the bottom. Again, this is sort of the upper limit with 10 million, if I counted correctly, and across the board, more link is about twice as slow. Similar patterns that we have for link zip, both on an arrays and enumerables, as well as my naive implementation. I do think that's kind of surprising that I could keep up and kind of surprising that more link was about twice as slow. So perhaps there's something that they're doing under the hood in more link that I'm not accounting for in these benchmarks. Maybe there's extra type checking for different optimizations I haven't looked at. So that's entirely possible, but these are the benchmark results that I'm getting. So maybe if you are using more link in your application currently using zip uh, shortest in particular, because zip shortest will be comparable with link zip directly. Maybe you want to try benchmarking, not using more link zip shortest, depending on if you know, if there's a different scenario that I'm not accounting for here, but it looks like you can cut down your time in half essentially. So I think that's pretty impressive. Otherwise you could try rolling your own it seems. It seems like it's uh, pretty performant. And maybe there's other optimizations you can think through. But uh, overall, least amount of effort in general is just using the link zip method if you need zip shortest behavior. I hope you found that useful. Maybe for some of you, this was not totally surprising because you'd be expecting the built-in stuff to be more performant. Uh, I kind of do in general, just because there's a whole team focused on making these things fast all the time. But I was kind of surprised the more link zip ones were a little bit slower slower overall. Uh, it's not really what I would expect to see, like sort of like a twice as slow uh, benchmark here. So interesting for me at least, and I hope you find this useful. So if you're interested in seeing more link videos, especially where we start to compare these benchmarks and the different behaviors, you can check out these videos next when they're ready. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.